What a beautiful mess, what a beautiful mess I'm in Spending all my time with you There's nothing else I'd rather do No, I'm not gonna go there But anyway, this is kind of a, I don't know, a video response to that video Thank you everybody that's been leaving me the kind messages I've actually not, I've not gotten any hate messages, maybe because I disabled the comments for that video, but it's all gravy. I should have just left it like it was, but, um, thank you all. Make sure y'all go out and, um, check Steph, <laughs> make sure you go and check Steph Stance's video of her singing me and Bobby McGee, um, but actually, too, um, I don't even know what kind of style her scene is, but she's hella awesome. She's actually got some really cool songs. Um, I think one of my favorites is uh, I'm Gonna Get Myself Over You. I'm gonna get myself. I'm gonna get, 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 get. Yeah, it's really good. But um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, a couple of you have been actually c commenting about J Blue something something something. I don't even know what the hell his name is. I blocked him, and he's got a little flunky following around him. Uh, her name's like X X. Hell, I don't even know. Um, I think he might be actually going around to everybody that I subscribe to. I don't know, maybe or. Maybe someone subscribe or he's checking someone out, but I think he's just going to person to person because that's what it kind of seems like. Um, the dude is not even bothering me at all. I mean, I'm fat. We all know that. I mean, hell, if I wasn't, why the hell would I be killing myself every day to lose weight, right? But um, no, nah, I blocked him. So, I mean, if you get a comment from him or anything, I've been spamming him and I've been blocking him. So, um,. Or, okay, yeah, I blocked him, but every time I see some kind of comment he left for somebody, uh, one of you all, I'm in trying to spam it. Um, and I think, too, he, he definitely called me out on uh, Mume, uh, Mume's page, um, said that big boy, that big boy, some, um, he's like her biggest fan. No, I love Mume, Mume's the shit, so I don't care. I actually like y'all. I was actually surprised um, that a couple of you actually commented about the video. But anywho, um, what's going on with me? Drama, 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 drama. Well, actually, it's supposed to be okay now, but um, I really doubt that. I'm getting ready to go to Walmart here. Well, actually, I gotta go to the bank. Then I gotta go to the post office. And then I gotta go to Walmart. But, um, let's see, uh, over the weekend, I don't even know how the hell to make this sound real quick. Okay. For the last eight years, my mother and I have been raising my niece, Adriana. A lot of you know that from my previous videos that I used to have on here. Um, since then, we've been in the process of adopting my nephew because of my sister and the situations that she seems to get herself in. Um, the CPS came and took my nephew away. Uh, we got him, went into the classes, so we're certified foster parents, uh, my mother and I. Um, we've had him, we had him for like six months, and then there were some false allegations brought against me about my porn, um, since I'm, uh, I guess you can say I'm an ex, an ex chub porn star. Um, they were allegations that I had a full-on crew, um, in f and I was filming in front of the kids, and, you know, whoever made that, you know, may God have mercy on her, so, because I love them kids to death. Um, let's see, what else? Um, so, like, two weeks before Christmas, they came and removed Jameson and my, my nephew Dylan from us. So, for six months, they... <laughs> Hopped around three different foster families until we got them back. Uh, we got Jameson back. 
we have the rights. We're his legal. We're his legal guardians, I guess you could say. Uh, and then my nephew Dylan belongs to my brother. Um, okay. Anyway, long story short, my nephew Dylan, he's just kind of off the hook. Don't really care. You know, he's 15 years old. He wants to drink a party and thinks he runs shit. Okay. Well, Jameson's fixing to be two in January. He's the life of the party. He's actually the little boy that I showed y'all, the the picture. Um, I don't know if it's really going to show up that well on here, but I'm, I'm trying to hurry y'all. I really am. Um, fuck. Fuck me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. It's probably not, but that's him blowing me a kiss and my mom. That was um, from the webcam, but his name is Jameson. Um... He's biracial. He's my the first, actually, first biracial baby in our family, and he is he's something special. Um, um, yeah. Sorry, had a moment, but uh, please don't comment on that one. <clears throat> my brother took it upon himself, I guess, the other night. Actually, I think it may have been Sunday night. Uh, my stepdad had been drinking or whatever. Okay, here's the situation. My stepdad had been drinking. Adrian and Jameson were playing in the bedroom, making tents and everything like that. Well, some reason, somehow, Jameson started screaming bloody murder. Uh, my stepfather may have thought that Adrian had pushed him off the bed. But what it was is he fell off the bed and he hit his head or side of his face or something. He had no marks. There is no marks on him, so he's fine. Well... Adriana and my stepfather had a you know like a, an argument back and forth and I think she had said something smart like she likes to do and he literally backhanded her he was backhanded her in her mouth and I guess it got her side of her cheek well he has a ring on and supposedly it left a mark well my brothers my brother and his fiance went to Adriana's mom and dad which let me repeat they have nothing to do with Adriana they didn't even buy Adriana anything for her birthday. So everything that Adriana got was from me that I shipped here from Houston and my mom. Okay, that's pretty damn pathetic if you ask me. You don't buy your own son or your own daughter anything for their birthday. They have the money, so let's not even go there. Okay, anyway. Uh, sorry, McAfee wanted me to restart something. But uh, I'm trying to hurry real quick. This might be like a two-video thingy. But, um, anyway, they went over there, they told my brother, and my brother decided to call CPS and call the police, uh, and reported that there's domestic violence, there's drugs and alcohol, uh, the police are there every other night, um, that, uh, Adriana was punched in the face. I promise to God, y'all, there's nothing like that, that ever goes on in my house. Never. First of all, I don't allow that. I don't allow any kind of violence around them kids. It just, it's stupid shit, okay? Basically, just point blank stupid shit. My brother owes my mom $107 because he called my mom up and said, Mom, we don't have any food. We don't have any money to go to the grocery store. So my mom took my brother to the grocery store. Okay, my brother Adron is dad. Um, sperm donor but um, my mom called him up and said you know do you have the money because they were supposed to pay her back you know or even not even pay her back just take her to the store and let her get her some things and then this is how it all broke out to be why he didn't want to pay her back he ended up calling CPS well anyways long story short now they're investigating my mother they tried to fire my stepfather at his job because of it his boss said no he's the damn good worker and uh, no he's not going anywhere my mom's walking on pins and needles because she's scared shitless that they're gonna come and take my niece and nephew away now I'm like I'm here um, and then my brother wants to keep texting me running his mouth well last night he uh, called my mom up and said can you tell Bob to quit running his mouth everything's done and okay I'm, I'm gonna drop everything because I told him if I have to leave here to go back to Indiana, the first thing I'm doing is beating his ass. And I got no problem spending a night in jail 
I got two people that will bail me out. Anyway, with that being said, there's my 10 minutes. <laughs>